if you're going to be digging a swimming pool in your yard, you need to know where your septic tank and your drain field is. Now that's obviously if you're on a septic tank. Now we just built this house. We've been living in it for about six months now. When we were designing the house, I knew I wanted a swimming pool, so I made sure to not have the septic in the back of the house. So our septic tank is up here on the side of the house. So it's pretty fresh. You can actually see my septic tank sits right here in this little square. You can actually see the drain field. It kind of goes back and forth down my yard. So the problem is I didn't know how far down into the backyard it extends. And as you can see, they won't be digging for the pool where the drain fill might be, but when they're putting in the concrete for the patio or the sidewalk, whatever you want to call it, I didn't want them to get into the drain field at all. Now if you're trying to look for your septic tank, at least where I'm at in Georgia, you can go to your county, you go to the health department, and you can get a drawing. Anytime they install a septic tank in a drain field, the plumber is supposed to submit a drawing with measurements of where the tank is. Well, the plumber did that, but it's a terrible drawing. It looks like a kindergartner did it with a crayon. And there's only one measurement. It's 25 feet off the house. So the lady at the health department had the great idea. She said, well, you can just measure out your drain field. So she showed me on the paper, I've got 210 feet of drain field. But when the pool guy came over, he brought a measuring wheel. She thought she could lock me out, but I always have keys on me. I don't trust anybody, even her. When the pool guy came over, he brought a measuring wheel, and we started at the tank and just wheeled off 210 feet. He started with the measuring wheel right about here where I think the tank ends, and we just went round and round, back and forth, all the way down. And we ended up right here at this blue mark. That is 210 feet. So as you can see, I should not be anywhere near where the concrete patio is going to be. Also, if you look down here, this is actually the side of my house where I want the pool pump to go. He'll trench out a little bit and come around to the other side of the pool to the deep end. But he should not get into the drain field at all. When the pool contractor came out here, he brought some paint and a measuring wheel. And I think this was a great idea. It really helped us kind of visualize where the pool is going to be. Now you can just ignore the pile of junk I've got over here. I've still got to move that. And I've got to finish getting up this tree. i got to get it moved out of the way. Eventually I'm going to be taking down some more of these black walnuts and getting them out of the way. And our pool is not going to be a rectangle. That is what we wanted originally, but it's going to be an oasis shape. So if you're looking for a contractor or you're trying to figure out where you want the pool, I didn't really think about this. This is a good idea. Maybe go get some spray paint and measure it off and kind of see what it looks like. I think it's cool how he did the sidewalk or the patio area in a different color to kind of help us figure it out. But the blue line here is going to be the edge of the pool where the water starts. So I would love to have concrete all the way from the pool to the back of my patio here and then all the way down. This patio is 34 feet long and concrete is 550 a square foot. If you've had any concrete work done recently, you might be thinking, wow, that's kind of expensive. I thought the same thing. I've gotten several prices, $5.50, $6, even $6.75 a square foot to finish concrete around a swimming pool. I've been told by several contractors, concrete finishing around a swimming pool is more expensive. This patio right here that is all cluttered up with stuff right now and 
very muddy because we don't have grass. I think I paid three dollars and fifty cents a square foot for this patio. I told the pool contractors that thinking that I was going to negotiate the price down they weren't having it. Finishing concrete around a swimming pool is more expensive. Right now it is 1030 in the morning. It is the end of April and you can see where my swimming pool is going to be. At 1030 in the morning it would mostly be in the sun except where the shallow wind is going to be. There's some shade over there. I think it is caused by that one tall pine tree right there. So most likely after I get my swimming pool built, I'm going to be taking that pine tree down. You can see the shadow. Pretty sure that's from that pine. I want my pool to be in the sun as much as possible. After about five or six o'clock, the sun comes over the house and over these trees here and the pool is going to be shaded. So from at least 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning all the way till like 4 to 5 in the afternoon, I want a lot of sun on my pool. Mm -hmm. 